looks like I just made it out to my porch. 6.30 in the morning. Gonna get my cup of coffee and start my day and see what we can get accomplished. Hopefully we can caulk an exterior. I do gotta go work at the store. We'll see Rainy should be coming out here. Lisa's cruising around inside making coffee. I usually start out too, like doing some chores around the yard, the start of the day and the end of the day. So we'll see if there's anything I can get done, but all the storms look like they're finally gone and looks like it's gonna be a nice day. This would be my view, starting my day with a cup of coffee. So not a bad view, eh? Come here, Rainy. Rainy, come here. Come to my Rainy. Uh-oh. What are you doing today? On your agenda. I'm going to go to Hot Works this morning. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store. You are answering some questions. Okay, you need to go to the grocery store and then what? Go to the store. And then we're marching towards wedding week. I gotta get my hair done at three. But that bookcase that Brooke brought over, she, did you see the paint you are scratching off of it? Yeah, you use some kibosh, strip it. No, wouldn't you just prime it? There's paint. You gotta get the paint off. This guy says, holy moly. With his build, he couldn't move without those sliders. He looks like he could lift that sucker with one arm, toss it around his waist like a what hula hoop. He, what is he talking and about? throw it down the stairs. Good night. My being 76 and weaker than a child and trying to move my lower royal organ from bedroom to the left right the as I push and press against the organ like a squeezy little puppy. I your coffee. likely spontaneously explode, cracking and shattering like a champagne glass onto the concrete. What did you post? But I think Harbor Freight has these sliders. Using a leveler, I can Likely shove the sliders under the cabinet and watch what happens. Gads, maybe I'm strong enough that a sudden push would set the organ into motion right through the bedroom wall. Oh my God. What is the post? Just using furniture sliders. So it's an old video? That was a, that was a, that was that a was mini That was a long rant. post by a 76 year old. I use food color in, in my 45. Um, 45 minute mud. So I posted the thing. That's a good things. idea. Yeah, that's a great tip. Somebody says looking amazing in our family photo. What family photo? Well, maybe you should follow me and you would know. Are you on Facebook or YouTube? I'm on everything. No, what, what are you answering? Question on? about the 18 inch. You ready? For what? The part we skipped. What did we skip? The daily devotional. Oh, you want to listen to it? You can do it all over again. It's on Father's. It's like, hey, Dad, can I have 10 bucks so I can buy you a $10 gift card and give it back to you? And so it seems like, you know, in a way, I'm up 10 bucks, but in a way, I'm not. And I wanted to kind of talk about that because as we look at the heart of a father, obviously, we're talking about our heavenly father. The gift of eternal life, it goes hand in hand with the gift of salvation. And the verse says this, Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Have a great day, David. That was a good one. Ready to go, getting her my trailer hooked up. So we're gonna get um, heading out to the job site to do some caulking and we'll talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm heading off to the job site now, and um, this is a an addition. So um, the first part of this addition is getting it ready to paint. So the prep process, um, I'm gonna be doing some caulking um, and any priming if necessary. It should just be, you know, some uh, typical cottage lap siding. Um, you know, it's kind of like uh, glorified cardboard, you know, warehouse or, or choice trim. Um, but definitely whenever the siders side, um, you've got to caulk all on a new construction. You should be caulking all the nail heads, caulking all the seams. Um, I typically do quite a bit of caulking, you know, on a new construction um, job. This is an addition, but it's a new addition. So getting getting ready to um, do that, then the next day should be able to paint it. Should only be a day painting it, just a small project. So um, I'm trying, every time I go out now and uh, do a project, I'm trying to create video content to teach and educate um, others you know about my systems and processes how i go about doing it so um today we're going to be hopefully shooting some good content about caulking the the products i use um the process i go by uh caulking and stuff so i'm um, heading on out it's in meridian idaho here we go yeah the other ones are the other one was it was, it was a different paint. I'm gonna have to look at the video. It was a different- Well, you don't need to do it. It's just like- The back paint. door. You can't just paint it white? What's that? You can't just paint it the body? I mean, I could, I'll ask him. It'd be nice to just do a white. Well- but All the other doors are gray. I just painted the body. I mean, then I, he could say, how come it's not the same as the other doors? Well, you have a screen over it in white, so how do you... I mean, you can't talk to him. Oh, yeah, the screen's white. That's... I'm looking at this tube of caulking, and it says um, <laughs> right here, something very powerful, 100% uh, big stretch water cleanup, paintable. It says paintable right there. And so it's a water-based... Uh, product that cleans up with water and it's paintable 100% silicone you have to clean up with mineral spirits or paint thinner so don't put it on the outside of your house we'll break this out next time you guys will see this what's that this dude sent it to me and it's like you put it on and it like makes it so when you're spraying your head will rest on it when you're leaning oh back my gosh. <laughs> And I told him, dude, that's the silliest thing ever. He was like a chiropractor and he was so mad at me. He's like, send it back to me. And I'm like, I'm not sending it. I don't ever send stuff back. When people yeah. send me stuff, it's mine. And he was so mad. He kept threatening me, send it back. And I'm like, no. And so no. every now and then I take photos wearing it. Um, So I got all the caulking done, shot a few videos, and some few questions came up from you know, some of my followers. And one of the questions is, can you use silicone caulking on the outside of your house? And you know, one thing you do not want to do is use 100% silicone on anything that's going to need to be painted because you cannot paint 100% silicone caulking and make sure you read that you know on the label and don't confuse that with um, like a siliconized caulking which siliconized caulking can be painted but you just got to make sure the label states so so make sure you read the label make sure you look at the TDS and understand what you're using another question that came up was you know why does caulking crack and um, my first thought is because you're using a cheap caulking and so there's good and bad caulking. So, you know, I use, I love tower um, sealant products. I love Sashko products, big stretch. Um, you know, if you're using a good quality caulking from a good quality company, they're gonna be using high quality resins in their caulking and they're gonna be putting more resin in their caulking, which, you know, makes it adhere better and, um, makes it flex and um, and makes it less likely to crack. So cheap caulking cracks, but also 
you know, failing to, you know, install your caulking correctly can also make it crack. So if you don't fill the gap entirely, you know, then your crack, your caulking could easily crack. And that's what we call skim caulking. And you're going so fast over the, the crack or gap that you're not filling it. And you're kind of just putting a very thin layer of caulking over it. It looks like it's filled, but then, uh, you know, a day later, a week later, a month later, uh, it cracks and it'll you know, even can crack a year later. So insulation can be an issue too, but we're all done doing the caulking and I got to uh, run to the store, Paint Life Supply Co. Got to do um, some tasks there and then going to be uh, heading out to go ride again. So um, today, can't wait to ride, second day in a row. Um, also got a pretty cool um, brandy um, making and whiskey tasting event I'm going to tonight at 6.30 downtown Boise. So can't wait for that for Father's Day. So you just never know who's gonna show up at Paint Life Supply Co. So today, two uh, Merca reps, uh, one a marketing guy and another rep just showed up at the store unannounced, which was kind of cool because I think Merca makes super cool stuff and you know makes some of the best tools in the world. And they were actually in town for um, Hudson Wood Products that was doing um, some type of demonstration show today. They they um, sell exotic hardwoods and stuff. So Merca was in town, uh, the two guys, and they um, somebody at the show said, "Hey, did you know that the Idaho Painter has a store?" you know, Paint Life Supply Co. in uh, Boise, Idaho. And they're like, well, we don't know who he is. And so that's kind of funny. Um, they had no idea who I was and or who Paint Life Supply Co. was. And the people said, you gotta go check out his store. And so they showed up, they're like, hey, you know, who are you? What is this store all about? And so I got to talk to them for about an hour and they were kind of excited what I was doing and hopefully they're gonna send me some tools to test out because I love their stuff and um, maybe do some reviews of their tools and the Laros um, is a super cool tool for sanding drywall and um, I'd love to test that thing out make some videos of it they've got all kinds of different sanders that I'd love to test out so if you don't know who Merca is, I don't know how you could not know who they are. Um, you know, I'm excited. Um, it's pretty cool to talk to them. They're two super cool guys. Um, and so uh, kind of fun to talk to. And I kind of would like to um, sell some of their products in my store. So um, that was just uh, something fun for the day. So I thought I'd like to tell you guys uh, of what's going on. You know, I today I didn't work out in the field. Um, because it is wedding week. So I was working in the store all day, got to the store about 8.30, was uh, left at 5.15. Now I'm driving home to go ride and work out, do some yard work. Uh, everybody should be, should be showing up in the next couple days, family for the wedding. So um, exciting times, having fun, um, working, playing, anyways. So today is day three, I got a little bit better weather today um past the 10 mile turnaround point heading back another 20 miles three days in a row and if i can say one thing you know i truly believe it be stronger paint longer you know if you just give it 15 minutes a day just work out the fitter you are the harder you're gonna be able to work the faster you're gonna be able to work you're gonna be more efficient you're not gonna come home so tired at the end of the day just make fitness a priority, you know?